All right, so I think, I think this is called the DBS 2.0. Um, I'm solely making this video because of how little information there is online about these motors. Um, I bought it from Alibaba, so it is directly from China. Um, but we're gonna test it out now. We're gonna do, you know, some range tests, some speed tests, durability testing. I've heard that um, the polyurethane wheels can sometimes slip. Uh, hub motors don't have really good dis heat dissipation, so I can understand that they can store a lot of heat. But we're gonna test all of that today. I'm running a, this setup. So, it's a 36 volt, so it's a 10S setup, 5000 milliamp, um, going through a 36 volt speed controller onto the, I think they're called DBS20, that's the model number. There is so little information about these online, uh, in terms of also, um, skin, so the, the hub motor skins. They're, it's an odd size, it's a 72 mil hub motor size. So I don't know if we can get new ones because I've been scouring the web. If you do know of the new ones, please let me know. But we're gonna test this out right now. We got a pathway up ahead, uh, heaps of hills. Uh, and we'll see how long it goes. I'll put it on the app and we'll see. So yeah, I'll see you then. So update, here's the hill behind me. I'm not sure if you can see it. It's not a big hill. Um, it's about five degrees in slope, and this thing is struggling, absolutely struggling. I reckon I could have gone up the whole thing, but it, it goes to like almost a crawling pace. So I don't know what gradient that is. Five degrees, not sure. I'd have to put it up on the screen, but in terms of heat, yeah, I can feel it's hot to the touch. Uh, the batteries, the batteries are fine. They don't feel hot at all. Uh, but yeah, the wheels, the wheels are definitely hot to the touch. So we're gonna go do some downhill. Yeah, that is really hot. Um, it's honestly like burning a little bit how hot that is uh, We'll go do a bit of flat ground riding. I can see a bit of flat hound Riding like downhill. Uh, so we'll, we'll do that. See how it goes. So this is the speed we're traveling at We're traveling at around 27 28 kilometers an hour. It's not bad For a tennis setup and online it said that the, the top speed was about 25 was wrong. I'm hitting a couple of um, bumps in the road that's either sending me off. I think I need to tighten the trucks a bit. But other than that, this thing is going exceptionally well. Uh, I'll keep you updated. All right. So from where we left off, um, I rode about two kilometers. Still fully charged on 5,000 milliamps. This motor said it took 350 watts of power which means I should, if it draws 18 amps, don't worry, I'll put the math up on the screen later. But in terms of heat, wow, that is, that, that's burning to the touch. Yeah, you cannot, wow, that is hot. That is real, that is insanely hot. Crazy hot. That burns. That is burning me. Like, you, ow. You know, like, that is insanely hot to the touch. I don't know what's gonna happen. If anything breaks, it's gonna break now. But that is really freaking hot. Wow, I don't know if that's normal. That is insanely hot. I mean, our belt driven motors do not get this hot because obviously they have the cooling inside so I don't know whether to drill a couple holes into here um, 
to help the cooling dissipation. I mean, I'm not going to ride it in the wet. Um, and if I do, I'll probably just plug up the holes. But that is insanely hot. So this motor from AliExpress is just, it's a good motor. I mean, it, it moves, it really does. But man, does it get hot. Man, does it get hot. Uh, I'm gonna ride back and I'll see you there. It's probably, it's another two kilometers back from where I came from. So, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if this thing's gonna slip on me or it's just gonna sort of plateau in the heat. Uh, I really hope it does. I don't want it to die. I mean, this is me riding back on that insanely hot motor. It's still doing 27, 28 kilometers an hour. We're going up this hill here. This is, this is an insane hill. This is more than five degrees, has to be. I mean, you can't really tell from the camera. Um, maybe if I do that, that can help. That's level. So, I mean, she's slowed down quite a bit. We're going, we're going. I can just feel, I can just imagine how hot this motor's getting. And I've heard a lot of people online saying how they slip off the polyurethane wheel slips off and it shorts the circuit so I mean it's moving it's comfortable in the end it's better than pushing um, okay picking up some speed here up to a steep hill here this is steep hopefully it gets up it oh. and it got up it no problem comfortable yeah, as I said we're still on a full charge Not exactly keeping up with traffic, but you know. And the brakes work really well at high speeds, but I feel like they definitely heat up the motor. All right. All right, guys, so that was a, that was a ride, a four kilometer ride on the AliExpress uh, hub mode, 350 watt hub motors. Um, the polyurethane is warm to the touch, expected. It's about as hot as the other wheels. But the metal is even hotter. I mean, I think it plateaued in heat, but you cannot, you'll burn, you'll literally burn yourself. It'll give you, it'll give you a burn. So maybe, maybe I have to drill some holes to dissipate the heat because that is, that is way too much heat to be in a motor. I don't, that seems a lot, I searched it up. It's supposed to be within 50 to 90 degrees. And that is a lot hotter than 90 degrees. That's like putting your hand in boiling water. That's what it feels like. It's probably like over, that's probably like 120 degrees, easy. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this review of these DB9, D, DBS20 motors. Uh, would I, at the end, would I rate them? Yeah, I would, uh, because I haven't had a problem with them in four kilometers. But if that does change, I'll definitely let you guys know. Um, but yeah, I'll 
see you soon.